Tech. So today we're going to talk some Zen as it is stagnating. I'm going to let you know where my head is with Zen crypto right now. And also we got to take a deep dive into Solar Road. Yes, Solar Road, a possible exit scam. I'm going to show you how you can spot these things, identify them. And don't believe everything you see out there because you're being shilled a lot of garbage. And I truly believe that Solar Road is one of them because this could be a clear exit scam. And also some updates on Snack. Stay tuned, like and subscribe. Let's get right on to this content now. Before we begin, check out the snake price on Cardano. I made the video yesterday. Y'all seen it. This was absolutely amazing. Guys, this is a meme coin on the Cardano ecosystem and it is creating volume, creating numbers. Hey, $50 million in market cap. That is absolutely impressive. Creating new all time highs almost by the day. I don't know who's behind this, but I gave you a hint. I gave you a clue and one of the clues is right here. You can listen to it from the man himself, the founder of Cardano. And this is what he had to say about Snake. Take a listen. Charles, how can you not talk about Snake? Guys, Snake is within all of us. It's not just here or there. It transcends life and reality. For only when one can feel their inner snack penetrate them, can they become one with the snack. Also, I have no idea what it is. <laughs> Let's go. Charles is a troll, but I'm telling you, he understands now the game. For those of you, my Cardano OGs, you know, you already know the drill, but if you was here 2019, 2020, you know Charles Hoskinson does not like memes. He doesn't care less about them. He thinks they counterproductive they're not good for the crypto space and whatnot but now he's slowly understanding what is going on here maybe this thing could help his blockchain you never know it's boosting cardano's numbers and volumes up in terms of tvl and everything charles used to say back then remember when elon was dabbling into dogecoin and he started tweeting about doge and whatnot and then doge would shoot up and get into the top 10, drop back down, top 10 again. This was 2020, before 2021. Charles used to make these lives and he used to jab at them. And he's like, yo, why is it that, you know, Charles Cardano is, you know, blockchain interoperability and economic identity is providing you all of this stuff. It's blockchain technology. It's at its purest and whatnot. Why is it that Dogecoin is, uh, you know, um, top 10 and it, it, it's growing by market cap? This is silliness and whatnot. But now he understands the game. I think after Pepe, Charles peeping game now. Charles is coming around with meme coins and look, he just gave Snake the pass and said, hey, Snake is all of us. It's about to eat everything else. So maybe there's some powerful people at IOHK or some large Cardano whales have been buying this meme token bro, to kind of revive the blockchain, bring it back alive again, because this is what these memes do. They create volume. They bring on adoption. They bring people in uh, it, by form of fun, bro. That's it. That's that's why I'm saying this. Maybe Charles just realized, hey, man, y'all want to play this meme game? Okay, cool. We're going to play memes now. Going to get a bunch of God cut on the wells to pump this to, just to make a statement so the, uh, the whole world would know. Since y'all have Pepe, Shiba Inu, y'all have the Dogecoin, you know. Doge is on Bitcoin. Pepe and the Shiba Inus and them are on Ethereum. There's no meme coin really on Cardano. Shout out to Husky token, but Husky, you already know, you know, they, they don't have that massive popularity boost yet. Maybe in a bull market, Husky token would do some crazy numbers because it is the first meme coin created on the Cardano ecosystem. Shout out to Husky token. But Snake did something different. I think they just brought in large volumes. I don't know how they doing it, but they must have some kind of boost out there in terms of liquidity to be able to do what they are doing. Now, you already know what time it is. This thing is set out to do numbers, bro. 76 billion in terms of supply, really low supply, which means it could easily get to like 20 cents, 30 cents or whatnot. In a bull market, you might see a dollar or close. You never know. You don't know where this is going to take you, bro. Um, if it goes back down, hey, it was just another meme, Pepe. So don't expect the unexpected right now. Solar Road. Let's talk Solar Road, right? 
blockchain ai grift everybody's been chilling this over the past month or so oh this is the best thing ever look at the numbers it's going up by a hundred dollars a day 200 300 look it's at a thousand all this other stuff this is how they get you i told you this is another swap next anything these people talk about doesn't last a month two months three months a year and then it's gone that's it you have to make money in it until you don't right it fails to to provide ownership of executive information you now it's your responsibility to do these kinds of researches because the youtubers have they, they they don't have your best interest at heart they have their own motives as to why they're pushing this stuff down your throat because it pays them an eight percent commission eight times your money whatever you're depositing in there that's how much they're getting per day so they are the ones and the solo road founders who are dumping on you every single day as they are showing you dashboard money and number go up while you are busy compounding and that this is what they've been doing to you they baked beans you if you remember baked beans last year that's exactly what happened with this solo road situation now people can't even withdraw their money this is how bad the situation is with this um solo road stuff it was bound to happen this was just a website that told you hey give us your tether usdt you know if, who gives these ponzi schemes a stable coin that's how i know these youtubers are not that bright trust me they're not they're not as bright as you if you incentivize someone to give a scammer your precious stable coins come on bro there's no respect after that is the just it's crazy yeah there's no companies that the comp the companies that solar road was you know associating themselves with and whatnot they don't even exist look as soon as they announce this right Solar Road's three executive actors were all present at this event, which happened sometimes somewhere in Southeast Asia, which was last month sometimes. They big connected you, bro. Once you had that massive big connect conference, my OGs, you've been here 2017, you know exactly what happened. Big connect all over again. <laughs> Solar Road came back, I mean, came and just, you know, had their own conference. This is when they come out now after they recruited enough suckers to rally and fomo into this thing that's when they come up with a beautiful conference to to do what to legitimize themselves you don't see companies like apple and tesla and that do this because they're legit they don't have to go make stupid conferences to prove themselves legit why do ponzi schemes always do that we gotta do a meeting a large meeting a conference to show our bots to show that we really exist and we really do trade and all this dumb stuff once you see that it's a sign that you need to get out of that contract because this is what's going to unfollow look what happened about a month later after that boom remember the bragging solar road was they, they based in asia they based in southeast asia as if that's supposed to make them legit but look all scam they exit scam the people are still waiting for their withdrawals they're gonna come back they won't come back your money is gone look at this solar road affiliates um ranking right they paying eight percent referral commission down to two levels on, on recruitment how can this be sustainable this is the sad part about it this is what the youtubers who are pushing this down your throat will never tell you this is the game right here they are the ones draining the contract while telling you to compound telling you to hydrate telling you that you're stupid because this price is at a hundred dollars is going up by 300 400 500 all the way up to a thousand you're missing out you're missing out you're missing out but while you are missing out they, they're getting eight percent per referral eight percent and remind imagine the contract only pays you 1.5 percent per day per solar road token or whatever crap i don't care about that that's the mechanics that, that's how it goes while you're getting your 1.5 percent you're happy you think you compound this and then take out by the time you even enjoy your roi gains some people didn't even roi with this and they day one investors didn't even roi in this crap because it was too good to be true but most YouTubers will ROI. They won't tell you this though. They would sweep it right under the rug. We don't, oh, no, no, no. Forget about this one now. Is it just they move on to the next one. Quick. When they don't research this stuff at first glance and tell you. It took me a few clicks to just find this about Solar Road. I could have done this a month ago, but this was Nakamoto last year. I don't got time to be coming over here and, and fight people and go back and forth with people anymore. No, 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 no. You stupid enough to put your money into stuff like this and watching YouTubers just lure you into the slaughterhouse and ram you right into a brick wall. They don't care about your money. That was my cry throughout last year. 
they don't care about you they don't care about your money when these things go down they dangle it in front of your face you join their team they get your eight percent referral commission and they dip they they roi you don't most people who join their team who who made money with solar road nobody it's trash nobody but the youtubers and founders because they get the they get the gist first they get the jokes the, the the developers the scam developers of solar road hit them up that's why you see them promote 10 to 15 platforms per day on their channel because they get these things come out of telegram i told you telegram where the scam developers approach the youtuber say you got a little bit of following okay cool eight percent roi per day that's how much you're gonna get commission on top of whatever you deposit so they don't have to deposit much they deposit a little bit in there and then everybody who gets behind them the referral commissions every head pays them eight percent eight percent that stuff would add up so why would you need to compound as a youtuber you are influencer you got the crowd already you got the larger team you're gonna make money every day withdrawing 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 you kill the contract faster and you don't care about your team they care less it's that this that carelessness inside their brain that that sick carelessness is the problem with these kind of contracts you would never make it never ever make it following these people 12 to 18 months they shilling you the same type of garbage down people's throat and they you keep losing money bro pointless to do this so respect your crypto if you don't nakamoto is not going to be the one who come to make these kind of videos anymore you're just going to have to figure it out by yourself bro they the, oh you crypto police and all this other stuff i'm nobody's sleuth nobody's detective nobody's crypto police i just don't like when people scam people and then laugh at them make a video and laugh at them say you stupid you emotional you this you that that's the kind of crap i don't like people like that are trash people they should be called out and that's that's wrong to do to human beings because people put their hard-earned money into crypto yes it's supposed to be some level of personal responsibility you click the buttons you did this you did that but the person who's dangling the carrots in front of people he should look in the mirror also and said you know what maybe this this is a scam and i might not want to you know i care about my audience enough to you know not not to put this in. but you know they they won't bro. these people after the commission they referral holes anyway this is who they are you know it, look what the comment said serial scammer named simon hardy or becky i don't know who these people are they promoted it this one says yes because simon hardy is the actual owner the serial scammer who owned uh solar road that's the guy who owned it simon some guy named simon hardy i don't even know who that is i don't care to look him up or whatever you take the research from here and then you go see what you're gonna find a deep hole and people idiots out there making videos oh we're still waiting for solar road to come back and the dev said on telegram it's gonna the story continue it's swap next all over again if you watch my swap next video last year that's what they did yeah <laughs> swap, swap next for the squad baby almost roi <laughs> no shame this is what they did to you last year all over again solar road another website where the that even the individuals listed on the solar world website didn't exist but they dressed this as the best thing ever as long as he's paying oh it's the best thing i'm the i'm the king baby i know how to make you money i'm this i am that when it's all trash and rubbish it's all the, to, just to pump you up to hype you up while you're staring at dashboard money and you're getting wrecked this is who these people are bro this is the their, their latest update right our dap system have been invaded by technical hackers oh here comes the ddos attack <laughs> we have taken emergency measures to protect the security of all data and all this corporate now corporate professional technical you know the gist bro. they they're claiming to have ddos attack be connect again <laughs> remember january 2018 as soon as texas hit big connect with the cease and desist letter every couple of days i try to go withdraw my my tokens boom big connect down again the website what happened oh we got ddos attacked again it happened several times over the next several days until this is when they were pulling the the, the funds the big connect funds and everything when the token was at 400 dollars, they were pulling the funds behind the scenes so they blocked everybody from being able to access their funds and, and and log in and withdraw so people gonna get panicked naturally this is when they block you from withdrawing this it was just a website bro it's the oldest trick in the book 
That's why if you see veterans promoting the likes of Solar Road, do you know it's, it's shameless? You know they don't have your best interest at heart. You know that they don't respect you. You could be a bricklayer, a carpenter, or not, uh, anybody. You put your hard-earned money that you worked hard for, put it into crypto, just for crypto to work for you so you can make some passive income only to be met with people like this sleazy, slimy, they do you dirty like that. Then they tell you it's your personal responsibility. You put your own money in there. That's why you deserve it. You deserve to get wrecked if you put your money into any. All the vets, they know to not to touch anything that resembles Solar Road or Swap Next. We know it since Big Connect. That's why I didn't even look into. When I see platforms like Solar, I just scroll by. When, because when the YouTuber is telling you that he's making money, look how much numbers I'm making, all of that, the dashboard money. Look how much I'm withdrawing, his commission money, 8%. While you're making 1.5% a day, he's making 8% per head. If you calculate it, he's draining the contract faster than you would ever ROI. I rest my case right there. Now, let's move on to Zen, where I'm at with this, because... If you look at the price, it's gone down a bit right now. Zen is minus 1.8% or something to that nature. Hey, five zeros and a one. I'm accumulating again and I'm minting some more. But the good thing about it is the liquid supply is still around 10.1 trillion or something to that nature. And the burns, DB Zen, is close to 4 trillion now. 3.7 trillion. Zen FT is 1.5 trillion being burned. Zen Doge, shout out to them. I know the price of Zen Doge has gone down significantly, but they at least burned a trillion within a day. And that was what we was looking for. That was dope from Zen Doge to do. Now, Phoenix, 200 billion, shout out to them as well. And yeah, man, Zen is going to have its moment. But I think Jack, I think he he's tweeted something about the x1 chain or something today which was a dope news now we're excited again i want to see that i want to see jack and the devs do what they do especially for x1 to roll it out even faster and i spoke to a few behind the scenes in the ethereum devs you know uh some people around zen where i've spoken to them and i was always asking them what are these DeFi stuff you know what do you think about it whether you think that um it is cool to get in and you know get yourself involved because i wanted to know where where is their heads when it comes to this DeFi daily roi passive income stuff and all of them almost you could feel the energy some left me on scene the other ones just answered hey man it's too risky for us to associate ourselves with something like that because if, if it goes down there's a risk of an exploit there's this there's that and because of the lacks of solar road and these contracts that these youtubers been pushing down your throat that is the reason why you notice no one wants to partner with, with contracts like a uh, solar road and these youtubers pushing this down your throat people get worried like the, the other developers mainstream developers like i said did they just don't want to deal with that kind of they, they don't want to deal with that kind of mess because of what the risk of the risk of an exploit, the risk of this, risk of that. And it just made me sad because there are so many legit contracts in DeFi that are trying to come up, that wants to partner up with these uh, guys. But, you know, they have been blocked because of what the likes of what DeFi has been doing to people, especially the, the ROI contracts that just, uh, the dApps that keep just scamming people, rug pulling people, exploiting people, people getting wrecked. That is the reason why you don't, it's sad because now you're blocking good project, like making them miss out on opportunities of partnering up with something like, I wanna see De DeFi platforms, you know, partner up with Zen to even burn more Zen in a, in a way where, you know, they can work together actually where the DeFi platforms would provide liquidity. I want to see something like that in the future. That would be dope to see. But it's sad to, you know, see that the, the other the developers on the other side are reluctant now. They're saying, man, look, I'm not really sure about this. They're second guessing themselves because they seen the history of what it's a trailer blurred when it comes to DeFi. Bro. You either can handle it or you can't. Now, post chain the farms have been look at this 778 percent aprs you know 776 percent 600 percent aprs which are dope you know and uh yeah the chain the bridge is coming up nicely i think it's gonna it's like 99 percent nearly complete now 
But hey, my play is still the same. Hexon ETH is the one I'm focused on right now because I know if there's a slight link of adoption after the Bitcoin halving, it'll start on Ethereum first and trickle down its way to post chain and post X. It doesn't mean that you can't play with post chain and post X right now, but if you're going in there, you know, take your time, slowly build your bags up over there too, because I think when Richard decides to pump these or the market comes and adoption comes this time around, right? Mainstream crypto has woken up. Yes, they are awake, alive and awake. They know exactly what to do with Richard Hart's product now. Now the respect is there because before it was, he's a scammer, he's this, he's that. Now after Hex did his numbers, outperformed on damn near every single altcoin, bro, in the 2021 uh, bull market. So you, we might not 10,000 X with, uh, when it comes to Hex on ETH, but you might see at least a hundred X or even a little bit more than that, which would put you smack down in the middle of a three, two to three dollar price per hex. And I'm just being conservative. Some people are saying, Hey man, it could be way more than that. I'm just saying if we hit it there, it's going to change a lot of lives. With that being said, let me know in the comment section below. What are your thoughts on snake? The Cardano token that just been taken over the internet by storm. Uh, and, uh, yeah, man, just be careful with the likes of solo road. I'll leave it at that. Like up the video, share it, subscribe for some crypto content. I have been Mr. Nakamoto crypto and I'm